Hello. We are going to figure out how to transfer save files from the Xbox or Windows 10 version of Deep Rock Galactic to Steam. I'm using a little long, uh, rather long-winded tutorial from Reddit um, with the title, How to Transfer Your Steam Save Files to Windows 10 and Vice Versa. Yeah. And he's confirmed that this works as of December of last year. So, Xbox files, not here. I've got a couple interesting, eh, interesting, okay, eh. In this one, he is saying that Windows 10 save files for Deep Rock Galactic are in our local folder. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate there, here. And you can see all the rest of my crap in here. We're going to go down to the Packages folder and Coffee Stain Studios. Now, we're not going to look at Dark Future, Dawn of the Dread, Decontaminator, Megacorp, all this stuff. These are DLCs. I have all those in Steam already. What we want is this .deeprockgalactic underscore 496A1SRH. He's saying this code might be different on your system, but this is the base folder. So I'm going to go into here. Now we've got a bunch of shortcuts. We're going to go to System, App, Data, which is not a shortcut, WGS, 009, <coughs> what's the difference here? This is FA0648, um, it is different, and there's two folders that I don't understand. This one's empty. This one has something. This is the longer of the two file names, and this one has something. I did play this three days ago, so it is likely that these are... This one looks old, 10 28, 23. So This is four or five months old. I'm going to assume that's an old version, and I'm not going to work with that. I'm going to pick the one that's the newest. <coughs> okay, we're going to go into that, and then there's a subfolder with some more hexadecimal characters. <laughs> Click into that. Okay, 789 kilobyte file and a container file. Now you may note that the Steam version is a save file and Windows 10 is doesn't have a file type. That is correct, the 789 kilobyte file. What I'm going to also do is just, because I'm into this, I'm going to open up the smaller ones. Oh, would you look at that. Player and a bunch of characters. So that's a binary file. We're going to grab this. I'm going to go ahead and copy. Uh, copy. Now we're going to go over to Steam, and I have Steam on my other drive. Steam library. Steam apps. This is probably going to be different on your machine. Common. Here's all my other save files. Probably need to get rid of a, a lot of these since I... Yeah, I deleted a bunch of, like, Seven Days to Die. I no longer play that. <clears throat> but, I'm look at Deep Rock Galactic. We're going to go into FSD, Saved, and Save Games. And now we have Backup Files, and this one called Player.Save. Player external backup dot save. I'm just going to paste this in here. Pre-import. And grab this. This is what the file name should be. And I'm going to just 
rename this as that. Now you will note that my save file, I have barely made any progress in Steam, but in Xbox or Windows 10, I have some significant progress. I think I'm up to level 70, player level 70 or so. And I'm going to just run this. Last time I played was November of last year. Yikes. All right, I'm going to open up my Steam version, which is this one. And I was told, let me also read, I did this transfer from Steam to Windows 10. I'm not great at each. I'm not techie. Okay, I'm not responsible for your stupid messes. Okay, I don't know how this works around updates because I don't know. Oh, Windows 10 tends to be a bit behind. Okay. Anyway, that seems to be it. It's a very straightforward process. Save file from here. To save file from here, make sure you maintain the file name. I'm getting a black screen. I think I also read from some other um, Reddit posts that this could take a while. Uh, there's the boot up screen, but I'm not. Ha! Player pre import. You have more. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Actually, I'm going to move this one out. I'm going to quick copy this out to, say, here, where it won't be read by the game. That's my old one. And you can see player level 83, player rank 13. Well, I definitely, this one, this one is the one I want to keep. So we're going to delete this one. And yes. And we're in. Steam group joined. Good. I still have all this. I'll take those 5,000 credits. I don't... I've never done that. Huh. Anyway. I should also already have the 6th anniversary promo unlocks um, activated. We have the pop-up. Uh... Oh, nice. I'm also getting Steam things. Claim your 5,000 credit reward at any minor terminal. Is this a minor terminal? Eh, no, but this is my gunner from Xbox, so hey, I know it works. Cool! Ah, there's the minor terminal. Beautiful. And have I got, what is this? Ah, paint job that I haven't. Obviously, I would probably still prefer to um, continue my progress, my main progress with my um, Xbox account. But in this case, it's like, okay, this is working. And yes, this um, this industrial sabotage was the one that I just played three days ago. So and failed at and had to close and not retry it. So it's yeah, I'm all right on par. This seems to have worked. Hooray! I'm gonna have I'm gonna finish this up here and we'll be good to go. That's how to do. And if you wanted to transfer a Steam uh, save file to Windows 10 exact opposite you'd copy your uh, you'd copy this file just blam and then back out to local uh, 
which would be here users Daniel app data local programs or packages programs and then not programs what in the world am I doing packages and coffee stain deep rock galactic no DLC files system app data WGS the newer of the two folders into the subfolder and blam and then rename this rename this to what this was like that and there you go that's it And then you'd boot your Windows 10 version and it should import this and just work. Very good.